welcome to a map review. Uh, I believe the map is called Lekini, Lekini, or something like that, by Smitty, or Smitty, but I'm assuming it's meant to be said Smitty. I just downloaded the map, have not been on the map, have no idea what the map even looks like other than the pictures that you see on the screen. So we'll just confirm that to be it. So I gather by the looks of it. First of all, let's have a look. Is there any errors? Okay. Um, land is not set for pixel in farmland. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, warning foliage. So there might, there's a couple of warnings there. Whoa. So obviously this is a mod and this is what? Uh, Tribune Oliven. Okay, I'm going to have to look in this particular mod and have a look at what it actually is and get rid of it. Uh, what does the map look like? This is what the map looks like. Usual fields. Usual uh, fruit fields. So I don't need to show you this. You kind of know what, you're talking, what we're talking about. What are we starting with as far as land is concerned? It looks like we own just that bit. Uh, about a hundred thousand dollars for a decent sized land. Okay, there's a couple of I'm assuming that this would be grass or something like that. Two hundred and twenty thousand dollars. So where are we? so we are on our farmland. Now let's have a look at the equipment that we start up with before we go any further. A car. Okay, so we get a car. As if just to say go explore but don't go no further. You know what? I'd rather do this by foot. Okay, so this is obviously how we get out of our yard. Uh, I can make it go a little bit faster so we don't have to... Uh, maybe that's a bit too fast. Alright, so we've got a uh, Russian looking shed. That is your silo. Yeah, decent looking silo. I'm tempted to say Russian looking sheds over here. A bit of a sort of open area type of thing. Okay, a covered silo. Uh, bio heat plant, I'm assuming. And we're back. So, kind of a smallish today. Okay, there's no gates. Kind of like a smallish looking. Uh, okay, so. Uh, silo here as well. So, if this is a silo, what is this? Gas station? I was gonna say, oh, how am I gonna read that? But then I realized that he did put the English translation. Okay, that's just decoration. Oh, so this is copied off um, um, No Man's Land. You cut them and I'm assuming, uh, you know, let's go have a look at these trees. No, they're just, they're just fake. Okay, um, I may bring the car here and right at the end, come out and cut that and have a look at it from that perspective. I just want to see what this is. Uh, oh, fermenting silo. Okay. That's different. I, I have to say that I am uh, pleased with that. I don't really like um, this, this type of silos that are over here. And I probably took the longest way possible. This type, I don't really like this type, but it's there if you like it as well. So I think you got enough of the... What I'm going to do is... Mm, flight mode, okay. Alright, so this kind of gives you a bit of a view. So I like the the indoor and outdoor cover. There's your silo. There's the bioheat plant. Oh. Let's go a little bit lower because I think we Okay, I didn't want to jump on the on the building, but I suppose that's alright as well. So this is a uh, grass field. 
not owned by you, obviously. What did he say that we own? So we seem to own these little pathways or whatever you would call them. Okay, that's the edge of the map. Okay, decent little decent fields again, not owned by you. Canola on it. Little islands in the middle. Easy way to unite these fields together, I suppose. Okay, this is supposed to be like a manure type thing, I'm assuming. So this would be a different yard that you can buy with a little bit of... Uh... Whoa. Slow down, buddy. So, animals, cow barn. Okay, so it's pre-put... Is it a big cow barn with a... It does not look like the one with the robot, does it? Just as large. And I'm assuming this would be either just decoration. Looks like just decoration. Okay, this is where your cows would be. A little bit of a shed. Again, a silo. Kind of like a house with some tires around. Yep, I like that. Bit of an American entry. Grass. There's a bit of a noise. I wonder where that noise is coming from. Don't tell me this is the noise. Let's have a look a bit at the town. What town is this? Lenkini. Now, I'm uh, probably butchering the pronunciation of the town, but I apologize if that's the case. Okay, yep. Yeah. Eastern European style, no doubt about it. Ex-communism type... Uh, Oh, look, we can... Oh, we can take the bean. Uh, certain houses. Like, this is the houses that you see. wonder what that noise is. Sounds like someone's vacuuming. Okay. Ask a silly question. It's supposed to represent that somebody's working over here. Hey, smart little thing. Oh. Yeah, this is the house they see throughout Hungary, Poland, Romania, Russia. This is the better, uh, all the sort of communism style homes. So we live in Lenkini now. And we're getting over here too. I would assume this would be where you sell your timber. Real water? Oh, I like that sound. Okay, you don't get it all the time. Let's see if you get a, yep, letter of river, yep, so, whoa, where is the church? Okay, so, oops, wow, holy macaroni, you can hear those bells. So it looks like uh, some sort of animals live here, and I'm willing to say that it's probably the sheep. Yep. Can you buy them? Alright, so we kind of own these animals by the looks of it. You know what? I like this. I like this, the fact that uh, this is what I've always wanted. You know, animals to be like in this type of enclosures instead of just... I don't know why our Giants keeps going with these big buildings and a tiny little square. Um, enclosure for the animals you know what I'd like to see I'd like to see uh, someone do a mod where you know like when they build maps where you can put this on any field just like this how nice does this look compared to okay he could have cleaned up the grass a little bit out of there but hey it's beautiful let's see where are you going okay no way could have put something here just for the fake but that's fine Let's see, how do we get to the mountain? 
uh, to the mountain, to the castle. Can we get to the castle or not? Not. So this is just a castle out of uh, Hood Bailaron. Just flopped in the middle of um, like a forest. And you know what? That's not common throughout the throughout Europe where you see castles, uh, ruins like this. But well, this isn't really a ruin, but where you see castles. Okay, I don't think. Okay, so he put um, a picture of Jesus on the cross. Okay, yeah, again, uh, anyone that has been throughout the Europe, Western Europe will know that this is quite... Um, you see it in every little town where people put crosses of Jesus Christ. And um, in the old uh, communism time, funny enough, right? Old communism time. So not free dem democratic world. Um, people actually respected uh, respected religion, and um, even if they were or were not religious, um, they would respect it, and they would have fear of God to say something bad about God or swear to God and stuff like that. Um, people consider that something very bad. That's why every town, like I said, I come from a communist country, and every town that I've ever been in the country that I come from there's always a cross at the entry of town so I, I realize that that doesn't mean people are religious because there's a cross um, but they did kind of do that to say hey we've got a bit of respect for the cross for Jesus Christ dying for our sins uh, now the actual respect was not always there but anyway that's another story for another day let's go a little bit higher so we don't smash through the trees now, I'm uh, going to do this kind of a review. We've been through the town. I am assuming this would be like a, a uh, looks like a bales type of sales point. And looks like a grain sales point. So now we'll get rid of this while... Okay, why aren't you... Whoa. Slow down, buddy. We're not running a race. So that's where you would sell bales. And now I'm assume this is where you sell your grains. So where have you been? Uh, we've been at the cow. We've oh, I like the picture. <laughs> uh, sawmill. I can't still get my sawmill to work on uh, no man's land. I don't know why, but I can't seem to. Hayloft. Let's visit the hayloft, eh? Oh, we. Okay. Wow, it's very, very, very. The hay, uh, the silo is empty. Uh, very run down. Very run down. So obviously he forgot to do whatever he needed to do here. Uh, you know, you would... you still hear it. Can you still hear that sound? So landscaping, painting, you know, maybe... Maybe a little bit of painting. Let's see if it will actually improve it or not. I'm assuming if you're going to... or Maybe he's done this on purpose where he wants you to come and clean it up. Okay. Now, this is a strange map review while we're fixing the map. Now, that's, in my opinion, the way it should have looked. Are you reckon? Now, this is kind of what a hayloft should look like. Maybe a little bit too low, but hey, it's all right. It's good. You only need to be able to get in there. And the, the sound of these electric lines... It's horrendous. Little prayer house. Uh, trying to see where I've been and have not been. Where are we? Over here. We've been at the... So, you know, pretty much uh, what you see is what you get. Um, where are we? Back at the town? Yep, back at the town. So we don't want to go back there. Trying to figure out, have we not 
Uh, we've been in, let's just go for a really high speed run on the street. So we are back at our, back at our uh, yard. All right. So you've seen the, let's buy a um, chainsaw. Let's see if it actually, what does it, what does it remove? Okay, there was a building there, it removed that. Oh, it removed all the buildings. All right, so it removed all the buildings. Like all your shelters, so you can start with your own shelters. So let's see what happens when we cut the second bit. Okay, what did this one remove? So the first one definitely removed the buildings. The trees are still here, so it definitely did not remove the trees. Oh, don't save it. Um, I wish I could understand what it actually removed, but did remove did it remove the junk? Was there a bit of junk? So the silos remain, obviously. The heat, the biomass for bio heat plant remains. I don't know. I honestly cannot figure out what it actually removed. Spruce. So at least it tells us what the... Okay, if you know what it actually removed. So you can remove this just like a tree. Oh, slow down. Slow down, buddy. All right, so definitely remove the trees. Um, I don't I don't remember being uh, seeing a uh, an English translation, so um, yeah, I'm not quite sure what uh, what the second sign removed. Maybe there was some other junk in here that it removed that I didn't see. Um, bit of flickering there but anyway so this is the map of Lankini or Lankini or something like that um, not a massive map review purely because the map uh, you know doesn't really need a massive map review water tank um, can't even visit that why can't I visit that So we are in the sawmill. Wow. Get out of here. You're going to go deaf. Holy mackerel. Whoever built this map like noise. Am I even gotten anywhere? Oops. Anywhere near the water tower. Okay. That's where the water tower is. I don't know why. I just want to see it. Um. Yeah, so it's just a, a, it's a good map. Okay, so. Orion. This is where our cows are. Again. Oh, we can lift them up. So this is not just. Um, can we feed it to our cows? Let's go and have a look. We'll get some animals. 
Let's get some of those select buy. Oh, 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 get in there. What happened to the bail? We, uh, we definitely need to slow down. So it doesn't look like we can feed it to the animals. Yeah, we, if this is just a basic one, then it does not take bales. So you would have to get something to come in and um, and um, open those bales up. But at least, you know, you got a few bales over here that are just kind of left around. Whether they're just decorations that you can pick, which more likely that's what they look like, decoration you can pick. Anyway, I believe we'll leave it here. Um, opinion of the map. The map has potential, no doubt about it. Um, rustic, yes. Uh, does need a little bit of work here and there. Um, not a fan of the fact that he chose to uh, use this um, cow enclosure. I don't really like these cow enclosures. They look like jails i don't understand why they didn't do the same house but make this a little bit more yeah or, or give you an option to build the fence yourself and then the cows will stick to the fence something like that but anyway it's fine oh let's get out of here um, yeah look the map has potential uh you know with a little bit of work you can definitely uh, you can definitely play it the fact that he's given you the option to uh, cut those two poles down and lose all your buildings um, doesn't make sense to me why that would happen um, yeah I don't know but it maybe there is something that I'm missing maybe it said something on those signs that I did not understand so this is Lankini map just a quick look uh, definitely in the right direction definitely needs a bit of work um, you know the the graphics needs to be improved a little bit and so on but um, definitely a, a half a decent map a decent map i was gonna say half but it's not it's a decent map uh, the ship i like the ship the way he puts the ship in i like certain elements of the map the way he's just sort of put them in really in sort of like a rustic way which is fantastic anyway god bless you have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one bye bye